Blast text image super resolution aims to restore a high resolution image from a low resolution one that is corrupted by unknown degradation. This task has some challenges. On the one hand, each character has a specific structure, and the distorted structure easily changes its actual meaning. On the other hand, the complex structures and diverse font styles in Chinese further compound the difficulties. If the character structure is simple, the retrained BSR GAN on text images can obtain plausible results even when the degradation is unknown. However, when the character contains a complex structure, the retrained BSR GAN performs well on simple structures but fails on these complex characters. The results often exhibit distorted structures. From a human perspective, we have already known the right structures of each character. We refer to this as the structure prior. Therefore, in this work, we attempt to incorporate these structure priors into the restoration process of complex Chinese text image. In summary, this task has the following challenges. First, Chinese text has complex structures. Second, it exhibits diverse font styles. Each character should have a unique structure, but can also have diverse styles. Finally, the unknown degradation further exacerbates the difficulties. Current StarGun has demonstrated powerful generation abilities in producing highly realistic face images. Ideally, it can generate infinite representations. However, as analyzed before, each character should own a unique structure while also having different styles. Therefore, we can't directly use StarGun to encapsulate the text structure prior. To address this problem, we reformulate StarGun by replacing the single constant with discrete codes. The codebook stores the discrete code of each character, and each code serves as a constant for StarGun to generate a specific high-resolution character. The intermediate features encapsulate the generative structure prior and will be used to guide the text resolution. After pre-training the text style gun, we leverage it in the subsequent restoration process. The entire pipeline consists of three parts. First, a transformer encoder for predicting the font style, classification, and bounding boxes of each character from the low-resolution input. Second, structure prior generation using a pre-trained style gun to generate reliable structure price for each character. And finally, the super-resolution process for reconstructing the output with the incorporation of each character structure prior. Now, let's move on to the details of our structure prior transform module. Each low-resolution character is cropped and aligned using the bounding boxes, and then super-resolved with the guidance of its structure prior. Since high-quality Chinese text images are not available, we synthesize them using the PIL package. We collected more than 100 font styles, and the background images are corrupted from the DF2K dataset. During the synthesis process, we obtain the corresponding structure image, classification label, and bounding boxes for each character. Finally, we adopt BSR GAN and real GSR GAN to obtain the low-resolution text images. Now, let's take a look at our restoration result on real-world low-resolution text segments. We can observe that our restoration results are not only visually plausible, but also exhibit accurate structures. Here are additional restoration results from real-world low-resolution text images. It should be noted that when the degradation is severe, it becomes challenging to predict the correct classification labels leading to errors in the guidance. By manually correcting the character recognition results, our super-resolution results improve significantly. This also emphasizes the importance of our generative structure prior for achieving superior super-resolution performance. The parameter W is expected to control the font styles and is shared for all characters in the same sentence. In our method, we utilize interpolation for W between two text images with different font styles. Through this interpolation, we find that W can effectively capture the font styles and the results demonstrate smooth transition. Let's take a look at another interpolation result. Here we use two text images with different characters. We also have an interpolation result from two text images with different locations. Both of these examples further illustrate that W in our work successfully controls the font styles, just as it does in the original style gun. To sum up, our work focuses on unbending generative structure prize for blind super resolution of text images. Specifically, we employ a combination of a codebook for storing distinctive character codes and a reformulated style gun for controlling the font style. This approach has the potential to extend to other tasks like text image completion for ancient documents and font style transformation. In addition, we propose a simple text image super-resolution package that can be used in conjunction with any blind image super-resolution methods to enhance the performance of text images. This package can be easily used via terminal command or within a Python environment. 
Here is a simplified pipeline. For a given low resolution image, we first use PSR gun or real ESR gun to restore the entire image. Then we use our package to post process the test region, resulting in improved performance and quality. Thank you for listening.